Welcome. So what we want to do next uh, regarding our local SEO strategy is that we want to create map embeds. So we want to embed our map in web 2.0s and PBN links. So let's say if this is our map, okay, Google Maps, we want to have PBN links with our map embedded in them. Okay, so PBN links with our map embedded. We want to have web 2.0s with our map also embedded in it. And we want to have uh, PBN links and web 2.0s again, but this time with an anchor uh, keyword pointing to our map. Okay, so I'll show you this in a bit, but basically you want to have all this pointing to your map, which in turn points to your website and Google My Business and it is all interconnected. I also want to show you how you can create these custom maps. Okay, I'm sure you've seen them around. They look pretty hard to make, but they're actually quite easy. So I'll show you that as well. And the idea is that we want to embed both these uh, custom maps in Web 2.0s and PBNs and also the regular map Google gives us. So, for example, if this were if this were to be our business, you'd go here to the map listing. In this case, this is a service area, but either way it works the same. And just click on share and embed map and copy this HTML code. And this is the HTML code you'll be pasting onto your HTML to get an actual iframe just like this one right here. For example, this is a map embed on a web 2.0. Okay, so this is a WordPress site. So if you were to actually embed your map by copying this code right here, uh, this one right here, the HTML code, it would look something like this. And like I told you, we want embeds and we also want anchor text links. So you can also have, instead of an embed of your map, you can also have an anchor text link. If you click it, you are redirected uh, to the map link. Of course, you don't use the HTML code, you use this one right here. So copy this link right here. Okay, so you want to embed your map in Web 2.0s and PBN links. And this is an example of a Web 2.0 embed. Uh, this one as well okay as you can see you have we have an article and then an embed embed in the bottom okay pretty straightforward so again you want to have your maps embedded in pbn links and embedded in web 2.0s which in turn make your map of course point to your web website, to your money site, and to your Google My Business. Okay, so everything is interconnected. And you're doing this to give power to your maps, okay? And why would you want to give power to your maps? Because your map listing, so this, run right, this, this thing right here, has a link to your site, okay? Has a link right here to your site. It's clickable, it's a clickable link. So you're embedding this map in a bunch of Web 2.0s, I'm talking 500 plus Web 2.0s, which all in turn link here, which link back to your website. Okay, so this page works like a more or less like a buffer site. And this is what this uh, map gives you. The benefit with creating my maps is that they give you much more. So when you're linking here with Web 2.0s and, uh, and embeds, embeds on PBNs, you're getting the link juice back to your site with the info that's here. Okay, when you're embedding these types of maps, these custom maps, you're getting so much more. Let me show you what you're getting. So. Okay, each individual marker has different information. As you can see, the coordinates are changing as well as the title, okay? This right here is different from this one right here, for example. And you can also change the website and the description. And ideally, that's what you want to do. Then you also have the main place, which if I can click it, it's behind the E. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, right here, you have the main location, so your, where your business is. You can add a fully optimized description. You can also add a link to your website. Actually, you can add multiple links. You can have as many links here as you want. And what I recommend you do is also add your citations here. So instead of just adding your uh, link, a link to your website, make sure you add the links to your citations right here as well. So this one isn't a very good example because it can be even more optimized. It's good that they have the uh, name, address and phone number as well as the website, as well as a quick description, should be longer, as well as some keywords, but they should also have their social media profiles, their uh, citations. And because you have a bunch of these uh, markers, you can add so much information. If you don't want to add your citations to just one of these, you can add them, you can spread them evenly across them all. Okay, you can spread your social media evenly across them all as well. So my map is much more valuable than an actual map from Google, a regular map. That's why you embed them both, these ones and these ones, okay?
You can also have what's called driving directions, which is where you can tell Google how people can reach your business from certain points. In this case, let's say, for example, uh, marker A was a, a famous museum. You can tell Google that people driving from that museum should take this route and they can reach your business in X amount of minutes. This is, of course, valuable information you are giving Google. Now, how can we create these custom maps? Pretty easy. Just type on Google, uh, Google My Maps, click the first link, and then just create new map if you don't have one already. And let's say, let's do the United States, for example. So let's go here to Texas. Let's say our business was in Austin. We just drop a marker right here. And this is our first point, okay? You can type here anything you want, okay? I'm just gonna type, for example, Biz business location one. Of course, you can also add your keyword. You can add keywords here. Like I told you, you can add citations. Oh, sorry about that. You can change the color. Okay, you can do anything you want. You can add pictures, images, and videos, which I recommend you do as well. So, like I told you, you want to add as much information as you want. You want to give this. You want to give these little signals to Google, as much as you can. And I actually want to show you uh, one of the maps I created, which I think it's fully optimized, with pictures and citations. Let me just double check. Yeah, so this one right here, as you can see, has pictures, okay, images, and has a description for each one of them. Okay, so even though this map only has one point, or two, I think, yeah, two, so the main one, of course, where you can add uh, your business description and website, etc. And you also have the pinned ones where you can add a long description, you can add your Facebook, Twitter, any social media you want, you can also add your citations, which I recommend you do so, and also don't forget to add images just like I was showing you here and going back to this one you can have as many points as you want making them look like the one we saw previously so a circle of points around a certain area so let's say you for example you are a plumber here in Austin and you provide services to all of these locations surrounding this area you'd be adding points all around here okay of course you'd have a main one on your business where the actual location is and you have different location points all surrounding your business. Okay, for example, here, 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 here. And, uh, and in each one of those points, you can even add images of uh, your workers working there. If you're a plumber, of course, you can also add images of certain monuments in those same locations. You also want to add driving directions, okay, from your business to those actual locations. And you want to make sure you optimize each of these points individually. So again, add images, add a description, add citation, add your social media, add a description that's SEO optimized, of course, with your keywords in there. And don't worry too much about being spammy because these maps, uh, you can be a little bit spammy in what you do. Of course, don't exaggerate, but but you can be a little bit more spammy. Uh, then, of course, the, what I was talking about to you, you can add driving directions, just click here. And let's say, um, let me just check a location nearby. Let's do East Austin. And there you go, you have a driving direction. Okay, this is pretty straightforward, and I think if you play around with this a bit, you'll most likely understand how this works. What I wanted to do with this video is to tell you that you should embed your Google Maps, so the one that Google gives you, by clicking Share and Embed Map. Okay, you should also uh, send links directly to the, of course, this page. So this is just a short URL URL from this one right here. So embed these maps and send links to the map uh, URL, and also create my maps, optimize it fully just like we talked about, and also make sure you embed this one and send links to this one directly. And this is what we do to power up our maps and in turn get us ranking higher in the Google Snack Pack. If you're looking for Web 2.0s to embed your maps or PVNs, I'm sure you can find some vendors on, on Legit or Fiverr or whatever you buy your services on. Again, I'll be having an outsourcing module, so any questions regarding that we can then clarify later on. If you have any questions regarding the My Maps or how or where you should embed them, Make sure to leave them in the group, I'll be there to answer, and I'll see you in the next one.